forefront. Today, I want to update you on the next stage of this momentous medical initiative. It's called Operation Warp Speed. That means big and it means fast. A massive scientific, industrial, and logistical endeavor, unlike anything our country has seen since the Manhattan Project. You really could say that nobody's seen anything like we're doing, whether it's ventilators or testing. Nobody's seen anything like we're doing now within our country since the Second World War. Incredible. Its objective is to finish developing and then to manufacture and distribute a proven coronavirus vaccine as fast as possible. Again, we'd love to see if we could do it prior to the end of the year. We think we're going to have some very good results coming out very quickly. In addition, it will continue accelerating the development of diagnostics and breakthrough therapies. The Great National Project will bring together the best of American industry and innovation, the full resources of the United States government, and the excellence and precision of the United States military. We have the military totally involved. We're also working very strongly with other countries who are also uh, have some great great scientists, doctors, and we're all working very closely together, and they're viewing us as the leader, and we are uh, — the relationship with other countries on solving this problem has been uh, incredible. To date, Operation Warp Speed has brought together all of the experts across the federal government from places like the NIH, CDC, FDA, and many other agencies. This historic partnership will now bring together the full resources of the Department of Health and Human Services with the Department of Defense. And we know what that means. That means the full power and strength of military, the military. And that really talking about the logistics. We get it when we get it. That means the logistics, getting it out so that everybody can take it. There's never been a vaccine project anywhere in history like this. And I just want to make something clear. It's very important. Vaccine or no vaccine, we're back. And we're starting the process. And in many cases, they don't have vaccines. And a virus or a flu comes, and you fight through it. We haven't seen anything like this in a hundred and some odd years, 1917. But you fight through it. And people sometimes, I guess, we don't know exactly yet, but it looks like they become immune or at least for a short while and maybe for life, but you fight through it. But what we'd like to do, if we can, is the vaccine. I think we're going to be successful in doing it, and hopefully by the end of the year.